Today, I'm going to show you how you can add profiles to the AWS command line interface, the CLI. Imagine you have multiple users in your account, like your default user. This is when you just work with the resources, you do development or operations work. But also, there's an admin user that you sometimes need to use with additional permissions if you have to do admin work. But in your day-to-day -day work, you don't want all those permissions, so you use the default user. But every now and then, you need to use the CLI to do some admin work. And this is why you can use different profiles in the AWS CLI. And I'm going to show you how you can add a profile and switch between the two. So right here, I'm in the console, and I have a default user. And in order to find out which specific credentials this default user is using, I just type AWS STS get caller identity. And now you can see that it's using the user Dennis. Now, if I go back and type AWS configure list profiles, it shows me all the profiles that I have configured. And right now, it's just the default profile. To add a new profile, I simply type AWS configure dash dash profile and the name of the profile, in this case, admin. This is going to ask me for the access key ID, the secret access key, a default region, and a default output format. If I use AWS STS get caller identity again, it still uses the credentials of the user Dennis. But if I call AWS STS get caller identity, with the profile option using the profile name admin, now it's using the credentials of admin. So if you want to work with your default user without any additional admin privileges, you can just use the CLI commands without a specific profile. But if every now and then you need to do something with admin privileges, you can always use the profile option. And that's how simple it is. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to talk about. See you in the next video. Bye.